Chapter 9, The Matriarch. The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. Are we going to find out about the woman? Calling out for Silas? What if we just, like, walk to the main road? Just this leave. the main road? <laughs> no, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? <laughs> Shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever. So they both like Ryan. Yeah. What was that? Let's just keep moving. Okay. So, I guess this is me now. Mm-hmm. You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you the Hooky McHook face. Positive. Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all gonna be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? There's always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. <laughs> Wouldn't really matter anyway. It looks like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> there. Oh shit. Relax. It's motion motion sensor. sensor. Yeah. We're okay. I think. No amount of water. Dread. Oh look, steampunk's back in. <laughs> Ew. Come on, this way. Ew. She disses steampunk. Wow. I have a lot to say to you, Caitlin. Abigail, storm shelter. Oh, are you guys gonna use the ladder that I broke? Good luck with that. You're just gonna stand there looking at the door? So what do we do now? Really? Well, I guess we just make ourselves at home. Live up some cocktails, see what's on the TV. <laughs> Why are you always so positive? Oh, why do you keep asking me that? Uh, I asked you about your confidence, not your whatever is happening right now. Ugh. I don't know. I guess I just don't like to see other people sad. Mm. Is that why you do the internet video thingy? Internet video thingy? Whatever it is you call it. You know, people think influencers do it just for the attention, and maybe you do at first, but after a while, it's like, what's the difference between 4,000 rando likes and 100,000 rando likes? But I make people laugh. <laughs> I act dumb and they laugh. Maybe that makes me dumb, or maybe I just like to make people laugh. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, fuck this nine, huh? Yeah. Why did the light just change on? Come on. Huh? I want to hear you say it. Fuck this nine. Fuck it all the way to morning. Cutting <laughs> through her brow. <laughs> Looks a little weird. Put me down. Okay. Easy, ma. Yeah. Put me down, you witch! Blow your fucking head up! Ah, bitch! Everybody just relax. Wait, there's a third person can't in, shoot, but you can't the old see, darling. It's okay. As soon as someone gets near her, she just shoots. She's a frail woman. Gotcha. Kick her. What you did to my Caitlin. Get the fuck off of me! 
<gasps> oh my. Um. Everybody stop! Oh my god. Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, oh, you caught him. Uh, wait, go. Uh, honey, wait, go. her face is gone. Go. Wait, go. Wait. You guys brought this on yourself, though. <sighs> She's gone. Little Bobby. Is this guy mentally deficit? Marlon's gone. Cool. <sighs> yeah. That is horrific. No more party. No more. Is Travis going to protect him. Laura, or is he still angry and wants to kill her? You have a silver bullet for a necklace. Oh god. What about Ryan? Ryan's still the getting... <gasps> That's why she bites him. Because that is, is not going well for him. What's Travis doing? Dumb waiter. Kai 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 kai. And you should probably leave the blade where it is, by the way. Pulling it out, it's not gonna work out well for you. Fuck. Okay, we went up. I kind of think you were on the ground floor. Ground floor was good. Where is Chris? All right, okay. All right, that's not good. Oh, you really shouldn't. And yes, touch, touching it would hurt. No, don't but um, no. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. is that gonna get him killed? Oh. oh. And I can technically save him by biting him, assuming Laura survives long enough to do that. <sighs> but I'm just trying to use medical practice here. You don't pull out knives that big when they're in in your bloody torso or anywhere for that matter, because if you pull it. You're gonna like rupture things on the way out, plus it is preventing you from like bleeding out everywhere. <sighs> what happened? What happened? What happened? Laura shot. Oh, Travis is gonna kill this woman. Is that the only one? No, there's another one. A pound of flesh. The final twist of the knife. A gift could be a curse or a blessing, depending on how you look at it. And when you're losing blood, your vision blurring, it can be hard to tell the difference. Ryan chose not to remove the knife from his stone. Oh, I don't know if I was good or not now. You're making me really doubt myself. Uh, and scrap belt. Yeah. Another successful family enterprise. Hackett's scrap is situated just away from the summer camp. The proceeds from this lucrative scrapyard, along with your fees, allow us to keep the camp running into such a high standard on an annual basis. Who even works at the scrapyard is what I would like to know. I am not sure how you're going to maneuver this joint with that shit in your side. Oh, because that's not creepy or anything. Lock it. He can't even put his arm down properly because isn't the the blade in the way? Kaylee's letter. Can I read it? No. Kaylee Hackett's letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. But what does it say? That's the thing. I I can't read it. Well, it's nine or ten. What did she do? Can you, can you, can you tell me what's happening? <sighs> I am in, I'm in the dark. I do not know what is in that letter. Where's Chris? Where's Caleb? Place to hide? And hey, just think, you're not dripping blood all over the place. I mean, you're putting blood on them with your hands. You're not dripping blood, as you would be if you pulled the knife out. Yeah, nope, not touching that. 
and under the bed. We'll find places to hide. It's a very tall bed, maybe not. Ooh. Oh god, that's revolting. Why is the bed so high? So which is the door out? This looks like the entrance to a room, therefore this must be the bathroom, even though clearly the person does not use the bathroom. Oof, he is not dealing well with this injury. Oh, it's locked on the way. Back we go. Oh, looking through the keyhole. I like it. Oh, another door. But I don't have any keys to get you in there, buddy. I have, I have nothing but the door to work with. Oh. Grab that bad boy. Is this the last one? No. Death. Death takes many forms. It could, oh great, it's got no skin. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it just means death. <laughs> uh, hilarious. <coughs> okay, I'm just going to try the main door because I've got nothing else to work with. I don't have a key for you. I'm sorry. I looked, but I couldn't find. Oh, well, I actually don't know what to do with you then. <gasps> Bobby's coming. <gasps> I mean, you don't want him to know that you're in here. Because if you block it, he knows that you're in here. You know, under the bed probably was a better idea, but I feel like he could have seen that better. And you'd have to contend with the smell underneath there, which is disgusting. But the cabinet's pretty obvious. Why is he locking the door? Does he know he's here? In which case, you're fucked. Come on, Bobby. Pick up the pace. Oh, he's unlocking it for us. How convenient. Ah, so he could have seen under the bed. Oh, come on. Absolutely not. And he's going to notice that the cabinet's open when it wasn't two seconds ago. I'm close. Stand by. Over. Oh, that, that wasn't loud. Shh. He knows you're there. Maybe not taking it out wasn't a good idea. God, you've got to pound that button so hard, so fast. You can't hide from me in my own house, fucker! A very good point to make. You're a fucker. <laughs> what a weak return. <laughs> okay, well that explains why he's going to die. If not bitten. Okay, Laura, you need to survive in order to save Ryan. Okay? Do you hear me? here. Let's not impale ourselves today, okay? Where the hell's Chris and Caleb? I'm just at a loss. And why did Chris infect his own children? And what was Kaylee's letter about? So many questions. So many questions. Do not touch that, dude. Oh, but it could be important. Just don't play it. Because that would be stupid. You can look at it. Looking's fine. 
Hell no. Do I look stupid to you? Yeah, I probably do. Don't answer that. Oh, hello. There are bears around here. <laughs> They must hunt the bears in the area as werewolves, and it stops the bears from being here. Lol. The spoils of the Hackett's hunting prowess. You'd think they'd want to cover up the bullet wounds and signs of injury. Perhaps they serve as a reminder that these animals are definitely dead. That is quite amusing. I enjoyed that. Thank you. It's been like a running joke this entire time. Ooh, we're gonna find secrets. I solely hope. Oh god, I can't tell which way to go. Obviously you need to get information from in that room. But there's another room back here. Oof. This is like the low-hanging fruit. Maybe I should go for the other one first. But I'm not gonna know the uh, number to put in. Ooh, family tree. Uh, the code, if it's got a password. Hackett family tree. The Hackett family have been around for quite some time. Their roots running deep in the local area. If I just like highlighted it, I'd be able to read that shit and I keep forgetting I can do that. Constance, Jedediah, Travis, Christopher, Robert, Amelia. Can we look at that again? Down this corner. Urgh. Caleb and Kaylee. Oh, he married Amanda. Okay. What happened to Amanda? These cages should hold Chris, Caleb and Kaylee. When camp's over, they can keep hunting the white wolf. He's got to come back sooner or later. It'll be safe if... I was reading that. It will be safe if we use blood. Last thing we need is more casualties. $5,000 for two electric cages. Paid. Oh, they're in New York. State of. Okay. T. So Travis organized to get those. Good on you, Travis. You've done well. All things considered, you've done well. I don't know why you didn't tell anybody that you had Laura and Max. But I guess maybe you were trying to protect them in the long run. Whereas your mother would have been awful killing them. Even though she's trying to, you know, protect everybody, but whatevs. Listen. It's not the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Gosh, I mean, at this point, I don't even know who's going to survive. What have we got here? Oop, we're glitching. This is what happens when you pause for lunch. <clears throat> I don't really understand what I'm looking at. Hi. How's it going? I still don't know what your deal is. I really don't. I don't know if you were the mother of Silas. Uh, sorry, of the dog boy. Wait, Silas was the dog boy. So did you sign him up for the, the, the circus, the, the magic troop thingy? Or what? How do you come into this? Uh, uh, oh shit, he's gonna wanna kill her. Doing? You can't die, otherwise Ryan dies. <clears throat> Does he have a gun on him? We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. <gasps> Seriously? You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. <laughs> yes! Break his leg. I don't think she hit his leg though. I think she hit his... Don't kill him though. Just keep going. Run. 
You're not Keep running. Why Keep aren't you position. running? If I left Jacob down there, would he be dead from Shoot Nick? Her. Take her face off. You know what she did to Kaylee? And she killed your mother, too. Uh, accident, and she didn't know it was Kaylee, so kind of also an accident. Wait! Uh. It seems Travis is still on Team Laura. Yay! Even though he wants to kill me. Technically, according to the text earlier on. But hey, I'll take a win. I need one right now. But hey, Jacob, you're not dead. I didn't leave you in the... There with... with, with Nick. Okay, how oh, the fuck are we going to save you, Ryan? How do I get you to ground level? And how do I get Laura there too? There you go. Actually, indigestion. Let's be honest. Well, you have a weapon if you need it. I guess. Don't recommend, though. You didn't close the door behind you? He can totally fit through that. Oh, why not? It's smaller than I thought. He can just punch the wall, right? Plus, you're not exactly being silent. Big lumber and Barbie. Where's Chris and Caleb, damn it? Oh shit, my hand was not even on the mouse. Why have you let your house fall into such disrepair? By the way, inquiring minds want to know. Look at that face. It's an angry face. I find it interesting that we went from like wanting to save the humans and because we needed their help to now being oh shit let's be careful of the humans guys they're gonna kill us <sighs> yeah 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 cramful cramful Laura can find you here <sighs> oh, come, come oh shit on, you gotta help me I do hmm? yeah I promise I won't tell anyone anything. No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. Yes! Oh, God. <laughs> we kept it there for a reason. <laughs> oh, no. Ow! You oh. stabbed me! Yeah, He's fucking hurts, quite simple-minded, isn't he? I've never been stabbed before. It's a bit of a dangerous spot where you've been stabbed. I've got to be honest Leave with you. Alone. Oh, God. Ow, now the blood's really coming really out. It really hurts. Dad! Oh god, he really didn't grow up mentally, did he? Oh god, oh god, it's pulsing. Laura! Save me! Hey, hey, hey! It's me! It's me! What the fuck happened to you? Uh, stabbed? Oh, uh, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Just got stabbed, you know, dying. Oh. How bad is it? It's very, very bad. Oh god. And she she's a vet, so she can probably so tell. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. That bad, huh? <laughs> I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, but people keep getting hurt. First Max, how are you? Just bite him. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I 
Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? She's thinking. Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan, if you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means. Which means it will heal. Mm hmm. Yeah. But it also means you are yeah. going to turn. Yeah, yeah, I got it, big bad wolf. Mm hmm. Yeah. Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then. Then I have to kill Chris. Mm hmm. It's, it's not killing Chris, it's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friends, too. But where's the white wolf? The big alpha? Let you bite me. And live to kill Chris Hackett. Or bleed out and die. To be fair, they've done a poor job of containing their secret. Pretty much, yeah. Well, we know it's the only way it's you'll live. Call. So for now. It's the only way you'll live. Do it. So are we doing this or no? Yes, do it. Bite me, bitch. Except. Do it. Okay. Does she have an appetite for it? <laughs> it's my first time. <laughs> nice and tender for you. <laughs> gonna hurt. Don't you dare pull away. You're saving your life here. Uh, yes, it would very much hurt. Okay, okay, okay. She's getting much closer to turning. Oh, she's you gonna lose her skin. To feel Ugh. Soon. I guess. You should probably start stripping so you can put your clothes back on when you're done. Bobby. Fuck. We gotta go. Well, he's not feeling great right now. <laughs> he, needs, he needs a bit of time to heal. Oh my god, phone. I'm having important moments here. Hush. I don't want to talk about work right this second. So when do we go back to Jacob? Oh, we're good to the scrapyard first, of course. And we're playing as Dylan, who only has one on hand, don't forget. Let's hope we don't need a second. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So... Do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? A tiny, well, tiny most little piece. Cars look like they've already been stripped for parts. Just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. No. Okay, so we're looking for engines. A part of an engine. Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. That's true. He's come to help, but like he doesn't know. Oh, Jesus Christ! He doesn't know cars, so I don't know how much help he's gonna be. Laura did not attack Jedediah. Okay, well, I guess that gets Travis on our side. Maybe. All the cage doors opened when Laura broke the fuse box. Thank God Jacob's not dead. And a pound of flesh. Ryan had to be careful not to exacerbate his injury as he fled from Bobby. Ryan removed the knife from his wound and stabbed Bobby. I'm sorry, Bobby. Ryan chose to accept Laura's offer to bite him. 
we have one left, guys. One path left. I mean, some of these probably still have extra bits to go, like the silver on the bracelet. But as a whole, we're nearing the end. Exciting to see here. Oh, motion sensor. Where'd Caitlin go? Caitlin? I completely lost her. Oh well. Does this look intact? Ish? Intact ish? No? Everything's been cleared out. Do, do you no longer work the scrapyard anymore? Right. Oh, I thought I might electrify the fence, but no. Alrighty. <sighs> Have to go upstairs first. Yeah. <laughs> no. Shut up. Come on, let's go. No, I'm going to go upstairs first, my dear. Don't you dare cut me ahead. I'd be very displeased. Good. Okay, what's up here? Anything? Literally anything. Is that a calendar? For August? Okay, so one of you guys works at the scrapyard. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Well, yeah. You didn't realize that until now. Still don't know what happened to Chris. Still don't know what happened to Caleb. Still don't know what happened to Kaylee. Don't know why they're all bitten, why they're wolves, where they were. I don't know what Kaylee's letter said because you wouldn't let me read Kaylee's letter. <sighs> so many unknowns. SUV body damage. Keep us off the books and out of the something. Who's T? Travis. Mm. Oh, you guys don't know. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <laughs> Dodgy. You said it. But when you have werewolves in the family, what do you expect? Is that evidence number 10? No. We still haven't found evidence number 10. <sniffs> Try it. The score request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy to say the least. There must be something here that they don't want anyone to know about. I'm so glad we've got uh, elaboration on the things they don't have. Caitlin, I'm gonna need you to go a little bit quicker, please. You're blocking my path. Okay, let's see. And there's nothing over here. No, 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 don't follow me over here. There's nothing here. Just trying to be optimistic. Failed. Horribly. Oh, it's over here. A uncertain death. Oh, it's just another path. Watch your head. You totally almost lost your head. Is this just like one big labyrinth? I'm gonna get lost. He what finds okay. At? He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. Kind of turning into a wolf to stop himself from dying while on the run from the humans that kind of orchestrated this clusterfuck. I don't think I would say he's doing better than you guys. Or that he's safer than you guys. Not even remotely. Come on, Caitlin. You gotta get out of my way, girl. You're killing me. I believe he's just swinging his arm around like that. It would be throbbing and pulsing and so much pain, even with the pain meds. How was he okay with this? I 
don't know why they bother having these little avenues if you you don't give me anything for having them it's just wasting my time which is when I get impatient and stop taking the little side trips and then I miss things you know look it's intact Is that the break of day? I didn't look at the time of day when we started this. So, bit. you ever operated a crane before? Nope. You know, I actually used to be I know, it's pretty, just the moon. pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, nope, uh-uh. Nope, oh, I hear that now. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Uh, I don't want Caitlin dying. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. I mean, you can't shoot the gun anyway unless you balance it on your stub, which is going to hurt because it is a recent demarcation on your flesh and it wouldn't cause you a lot of pain to balance something on it. All right. She needs the gun, Looks not like you. Looks somebody's mom. Never taught them how to clean up after themselves. <laughs> he's he's kind of funny sometimes. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Except you're gonna make a lot of noise. Welcome back, grabber. Now you're falling away. What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. How do you know which lever it is? And try not to squish Caitlin, please. Then it's gonna show us him reaching across his body to get the other lever. She did it! Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. Oh, you just want the whole car. Score. I thought you just wanted the motor on. What is he seeing? <gasps> Motion sensors. Oh, no. Oh, God. I could have killed her if I lifted the car. I could have just killed her. <gasps> Up she goes. Yeah, see, if he'd just done it, she would have fallen out and had her legs. Oh god. Oh god. Dylan, get the damn werewolf off the damn car! Drop it. Drop it. Too late. So, who is this? What do you want him to do? Sound the horn. I think. Oh god, don't... All of this for the car? Ow. Tailbone injury. Um, you, you still need the piece from the car if you don't get the car itself. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah, motherfucker. Let it up, bitch. I hope that's not Nick. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't even care if it's Nick. Except now it's on the ground with Caitlin. And she doesn't have to fucking gun. Dylan, Drop the car. Drop the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car, car, car. Shut up. You are not helping me here, lady. Well, I guess we're not using the car. We need a road run, though. No. 
You were very useless, Caitlin. Where'd you put the gun? What's the point in having a gun if you don't do anything with it? Or you forget about it when you're in danger? I left the gun with you for a reason. God damn it, stupid people. I guess adrenaline does crazy things to you. Oh, hello. Dylan, Mom. thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Right yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. <laughs> Don't push it. Okay. Right around. So, so much for our brilliant escape plan. You have no way of getting the car out of here okay. anyway. Back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. You're not even good at... What? I'm sorry, do I not understand? I thought they were coming to the scrapyard to get a rotor arm, but then Caitlin was like, ooh, hey, it's a full car, let's just take it. And we've busted the car, fine. We still came here for the rotor arm. So bust that bitch open, grab the rotor arm from the front of the vehicle, take it with you and put it in the minivan. Why are you walking away? without taking it with you. It makes literally no sense. It defeats the entire purpose of why you came here. This is frustrating. Caitlin and Dylan worked together to escape the scrapyard. Yeah, that's great, but that's not what I want. The scrawled request to keep something off the books is a little just The note is referring to Max's car. Oh, that's what that was. Sure. Travis wanted to keep it off the books in case anyone came looking for them. <laughs> I see. So one or both of them could have died right there. No one could have walked home. Could have been no one walking home from the scrapyard. But that still doesn't solve the problem that you don't have a way of getting the van working. At least until dawn, you had help coming at dawn. You just had to survive until then. Surviving until dawn here is not going to save you. You still need to get out. And you don't have a working vehicle. Okay, back to the storm shelter with Abigail. It is 2.30 in the morning. We can't just sit here. Why not? Sure you can. Dylan said it's safe here. Yeah, it's safe. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't want to be... Waiting I'd rather be waiting around and safe than running around but dangerous. But that's literally in all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Fine. I suppose the full but moon will be protection. down, won't it? Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. Why don't you... Wh why are you telling me what to do? Why are you not doing it yourself? God, I don't like Emma. She's just so unlikable. And I can't see she diddly squat in this joint. Okay, now she's moving. That's the stairs. We never went this way. Oh god, Hierophant. My poor boy. Do you see what they did to us? How they hurt us? He's out there still. Oh! That's the tarot lady. The tarot lady is a scary lady in the woods. And she's doing this because she wants, I don't know, vengeance for her, her, her boy? All alone, each full moon they hunt him, armed with silver, that'd be the white wolf, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. But little Silas, my little white wolf, he must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time. Oh, low blow. She wants me not to kill her son. That was child and son together and it really didn't work. Her child, who is no longer a child, he's clearly a, like, a middle-aged adult at this point. Huh. Although, is he? Is he, though? If he grew up... Oh, no, he only, he only turns a wolf every one, the full moon, so... Hmm. Heh. <laughs> Why is it like there's a frog croaking in here? I can't see shit, Abby. If you run into a wall, I cannot save you. Uh, whatever it is, it's moving. It's 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 <laughs> malformed. K. 
Okay, well, we're finding diddly squat in here because I can't see. <laughs> Surveillance room. Huh. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power? Why would somebody do that? To keep us in the dark? Ha 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 ha. Oh, it's, it's broken. What is it? It's not a fuse. Silver shells. Oh. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. Okay, so she's just pocketed a destroyed bullet. Abigail and Emma found silver shells in the storm shelter. I do not know how that's going to help me. But sure. I'll take it. I'll take anything for a win. What'd you find? Oh, I'm just checking out this ladder. It's broken. Careful. Is that a tiny little door up there? Oh, you guys can get into uh, the surveillance room from here. Yeah. We'll open it up. Watch Why? the ladder. We don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is... It might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Lock yourself in the surveillance room. Literally okay. no one will find you there. I guess that makes sense. It also means your friends can't find you there. But you'll be safer. For sure. Can you please not fall to your death, Abby? Because I've, uh, I've, I've loosened a rung for you. Don't bounce. You all right? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, yeah. that was that was close. Why has that affected you? You can still use a ladder without one rung. Ladder rung broke when Abby climbed. Yeah, but rungs and ladders aren't so far apart that you can't just ignore a missing rung. It's a ladder, not complex maths. That looks very awkward. Okay, they've now separated. Fantastic plan. Emma should have gone up behind her on the ladder. Go back at Laura. We're still inside. Unfortunately. Unless you guys found a way out. Nope. Through her you do here. not have a plan to get out, do you? Man, this place is huge. Nope. You need to find the white wolf and kill it. To rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Yep. So you transform. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way What is out. the smell? A way to Chris Hackett. Can you please elaborate? Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Okay, dokey. You do see that something is chained up ahead. And it's moving, right? I bloody hope that's Chris, Caleb, or the White Wolf. Well, actually, if it was the White Wolf, you would have killed him already. So that's either Chris or Caleb. God, I can't see anything in this joint. Well, they look pretty resigned. What was that? I think. I think we found Chris Hackett. Son of a bitch. Oh god. He's breaking free. Oh god. He has broken free. We're in trouble. We have no we have we have no defense. Oh shit. There was probably something on the left. I didn't get to explore. 
before we just come off it. Come Ryan, get your shit together. Oh god, she's going. She's going. Travis, save yourself. Save yourself, Travis. Oh god. Silver back mirror. Poor Travis. Poor Travis. Bobby! The gun! Bobby, gone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bobby is gone. Oh, Bobby is gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Team building, you say? Found the way into the lodge. Well, I don't think Emma did this squat. Um, but it's this that I'm interested in. Bobby was weakened and unable to defend himself against Chris. Oh... Uh... Whoops, that's that. That's my fault. I think. My bad. Sorry. Chris Hackett killed at the camp mask. Oh, that's who Ian was. Oh no! On the night Laura and Max were kidnapped, when hiding in the storm shelter, he devoured Ian in an attempt to satiate his appetite. It didn't work. I'm sorry. Oh, he's here. No, no. Oh, well, he's not here anymore. Can we save Travis? And ourselves. Is that Travis going? Is this Chris? Was that Chris? Or was that Laura? Because we killed Chris. Oh yes. Oh god. Oh god. <gasps> because she just killed Chris, and because she attacked him earlier. Uh. Oh god. Can we talk about it? I don't want to hurt Travis. Okay. Bring it on, motherfucker, you crocked ass cop piece of shit. I'm not scared of you, come on! I suppose he's in too deep now. Poor Travis. <gasps> I'm sorry! I really am. survive is my objective oh but what if he was doing something good and i just killed him needlessly <laughs> travis killed laura with silver after she turned back into a human he most certainly did the white whale ryan shot chris hackett with silver curing his line of infection laura turned back into a human in front of travis travis stabbed laura to death ryan shot travis and we still don't have the bottom path. We still need to kill the white wolf. <sighs> okay, we've still got the mother. The mother's still alive. No, 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 we shot her in the face. God, no, she's dead. How do you feel about that, boo? Welcome back, my friend. I'm so glad you're back. Especially now that more vermin have been stamped out. Yes, they have. Stragglers remain, but there's still time. Yeah. <laughs> so. Wait, who else do you want to kill? Then, Who's left? What more has been found? Caleb, still. So know where he is. Look? Okay. I've got three cards to choose from. <laughs> Death. Death takes many forms. It could mean change, transition, transformation often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. <laughs> <laughs> Contain yourself. Next. 
Okay, the idea of my death is not that mirthful. The sun. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. That's really ambiguous, but I'm curious here about your, your son. The Hierophant? Where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. I haven't found oh, the final boy. piece of evidence. You see what that did to us? <gasps> We're getting history. Yes, Hackett's quarry six years ago, Eliza. No. I didn't realize it was this recent. I thought it was like years what ago. Okay, so her boy is a boy. I thought this was what back in like earlier 1900s. That's horrible. Why? Why did they burn this place up? <gasps> Why? Why did they do this to you? I don't know. Hi. Silas, my boy. <laughs> but he's dead, isn't he? Otherwise, how is he still able to bite people? Is that not Silas? Holy shit! That goes her livelihood. Oh god, that's gonna explode. How are the gas tanks just sitting there? Looks like trouble waiting to happen. Oh shit. Oh shit, but she can't die. She's alive. You almost got destroyed by Reba. Holy hell. What if she died right there? Could I be talking to a ghost? Not Silas. Oh, this is the previous sheriff. Previous sheriff that Travis got the job from. She's entering a trance. She's protecting herself. That her son doesn't kill her. Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 And that's why she's still searching for her son. Oh, Jesus. Did that catch her or not? The ambiguity is killing me. I still don't get why, though. Who, who set this place on fire and why? Ah, and this is how our cards get spread. And why they burn up. Hmm. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what that did to us? How they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon they hunt him. Armed with silver. Yeah, but he keeps turning people. And put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid. stupid. So you're blaming them for being bitten for no, setting up place ablaze all that the means years ago. Little white wolf. You must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? 
Remember how I've helped you all this time? Oh my god. I have to make a decision Remember here? Remember how much I've done for you? Wait, she's not even going to let me choose a card? Wow, rude. 